and talking about it is his way of relaxing. <laughs> People just aren't what they seem. Like a certain someone who was into punk rock ten years ago. You are absolutely right, Emily. But you can be an art lover and a liar at the same time. One more thing, Emily. You just said that you aren't interested in art. That's right. And... So, how come I bumped into you at the art gallery? Didn't seem like Nick brought you there. You were there alone. I... Well... I like trees, is the thing. That's why I went there. Surely you'd be better off in the forest rather than an art gallery then. Uh... I think you went to the gallery not to see trees, but to see Diane, right? Uh, uh. You don't want to answer. Or perhaps this isn't the right place to ask. M meet me in the backyard. You can get there from the parking lot. I'll wait for you there for an hour after we close up. They close at 2100. Should we get something to drink and wait? Agent York, what do we do now? I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the diner closes. Okay, then I'm going to make a trip back to the department. I'll see you in the backyard later. Okay, sounds good. See you later, then. Back about Olivia. I presume she wants to tell us something about Nick and Diane. Let's hope it's not just something for the gossip cards. Well then, Olivia, talk to me. 
Y yes. In the beginning, Nick only went to the gallery during the day. But he went so often at some point he became friendly with Diane. They started going out drinking together, and now he doesn't come home until early morning. Now he says that they were only drinking Rembrandt. He blames me for not being able to talk about Turner and Rembrandt. Which of course I can't, can I? So what can I say? Finally, I couldn't take it anymore, so I followed him. He did go to the bar, to start with. Diane was there too, but the real problem is where they go to next, right? So, I waited outside the bar to see where they might go. And, and they eventually left the bar and headed for the art gallery. But it was, it was already early morning. But it was still dark. Just before going inside, Diane turned around. It should have been too dark to see me. But I swear, her eyes looked right at me. They seemed to flash for a moment. I was so rattled that I left and went home. <laughs> the next day, Anna was found dead. <laughs> I... I didn't know what to do! <laughs> I went to the gallery to talk with Diane about it. To confront her. And once I was there, I couldn't find the courage to go through with it. Then I saw you there, and I just felt I had to go home. Nick has been seeing Diane every night recently. <laughs> he just left for tonight, too. I, I, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> York, we have to take Nick in for questioning. No, not yet. This alone isn't enough. This is Emily. Agent York is with me, too. I've just received word from Thomas at the Sheriff's Department. Something has happened at Becky's house. He was called in by Quinn, but he wasn't making any sense. We have no further details. I've sent Thomas over there. Can you go back him up? Yes, sir. One other thing. It sounded like he said, Raincoat Killer. This may well be related to the murder case. Take all due precautions. <gasps> no! It couldn't be! Nick? Oh, please, no! What can I do? Nick! <laughs> Olivia, calm down. <laughs> Emily, take care of Olivia. I'm heading over to bed. She lives in the big house over by the lake. Hurry! I just hope this is anything serious. Damn it, Zach. We may have screwed up during the investigation.
That's all he would say since I got here. <laughs> Quint, tell me, what did you see in there? Did you see Nick here? No. When I got here, he was already like this. He should be here soon. Call George and tell him to get over here. Wait out here. I'm going inside. Once they both get here, follow George's orders, okay? Yes. But Agent York, isn't it dangerous to go in there alone? Don't worry. Zach is with me. Zach, let me smoke one first. I need to clear my head so I can take everything in. <laughs> <laughs> 